Hello and welcome to this drink review of a drink called Moss Energy Super Cola. And apparently this is from Japan actually, which I didn't know when I bought it. So let's see how it tastes. Like it's an import. If I can open it with an arm. arm. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay, let's degas it a bit. So it doesn't spray everywhere. Okay. All right. The initial smell doesn't bode well because it smells like uh, one of those sheep, like uh, what's called cola, like Coca Cola alternatives, not the ones. Like, is it is the name in English like non un unbranded non brand? Um, but you know what I mean. Basically, kind of like. A, a shame, not shame store, a food store's version of a cola. Oh, it smells like like super sweet. Mm. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. Off brand. There we go. It tastes like an off brand. Coca-Cola Zero or like, well, I don't think I've ever had Diet Coke, so maybe that's something I should try. Uh, but, okay, off-brand Coca-Cola Zero. It's too sweet. It doesn't have that, bit, not bitterness, but that something that Coca-Cola had uh, that I like about Coke. This doesn't have that, but... It does have a lot of, uh, oh damn, I saw it somewhere. I think it had like almost, I think it said somewhere like 55, uh, mil, like 55 milligrams of caffeine per 100 instead of 32, like they normally do. Okay, I saw it someplace. Uh, but I don't see it right now, so it has more caffeine than a normal monster that I've seen. And this being the first Japanese monster, not very good. The Super Cola, uh, it's not super at all. It is not super duper. <coughs> uh, but yeah, just in bed. I just wanted to do something I'm eating or oh, I'm gonna eat this right here it's just some salad minced meat with some feta cheese uh, with some of the takanotsume I use quite a lot of the takanotsume in the in the meat that we did so yeah 